Coming up on this edition of GTV, we update you with this weekend's forecast, share our final Mass Reader of Literacy Week, plus learn more about senior exam exemptions, and view a short film. GTV begins now. Good morning, Gaither. I'm Daisy. And I'm Nevi. Today is Friday, January 31st, 2020. Welcome to GTV. Today is our final day of Literacy Week. We want to know what Miss Sinclair is reading. Look for her sign in room 276 and bring your answers to Mrs. Aldrich in the Media Center. Our winner will be announced live on GTV Monday. Today is your last day to grab a free book from the Media Center. Don't miss out on this chance to keep a good read. We also share our final masked reader today. Yesterday, we shared a video with you of Miss McDonald. See if you can identify today's reader. After finishing up the DPC that evening and checking on an experiment, I give Amiko a quick call. I'm heading over to Boondoggles, I tell her, jokingly referring to the Russian segment as our neighborhood bar in Houston. She understands what I mean. I start gathering things to bring to Friday dinner in a big Ziploc bag. I pack my own spoon and my own scissors for opening food bags. I pack food to share, stuff from my bonus food container and from what I brought up with me. Canned trout, some radiated Mexican meat, and a processed cheese similar to Cheese Whiz that Gennady loves. The Russians always share some tarry black caviar, for which I've developed a real taste, as well as some canned lobster meat. Samantha always brings good snacks too. The Europeans have the best food. If you think you know who the reader is, stop by the Media Center to enter. The winner will be announced live on GTV Monday. Finally, this is one last reminder that doors for literary, Literacy Week must be decorated by today and will be judged Monday. Now let's pull our winners for yesterday's contest. George Keith and Gra Gabrielle Souvenir, congratulations. See Ms. Aldrich to claim your prizes. Today, the Gaither Theatre Department will present a full staging of The Black Heart. This is an original musical written by Gaither students James Simpson and Matt Corlock. This, this play is about pirates, revenge, love, and loss. Audrey Ray will be directing the show and students featured are from the Advanced Musical Theatre class. Showtime is 7 p.m. Tickets are $6 at the door. As a bonus to tonight's event, students from Mr. Singleton's AP 2D Art and Design class will be showcasing their artwork in person in the lobby before the play begins. Check it out. We've had a few cloudy days this week, and today Megan joins us in the studio to give us an update on if that trend will continue this weekend. Megan? Thanks, Daisy. Unfortunately, it does look like the cloudy weather is here to stay for most of our weekend. Today, the low for Tampa is 58 and the high is 74. Cloudy coverage will last all day with scattered showers moving in this afternoon. Winds are at 6 miles per hour. You may want to bring an umbrella with you if you plan on seeing the black heart tonight. Tomorrow, Saturday, we will see cooler temperatures with more clouds and rain. The low is 52 and the high is 66. Scattered showers are expected throughout the whole day for most of Tampa. If you did want to get outside this week, Sunday will be the day to do so. It will be chilly with a low of 46 and a high of 63. However, it will be sunny all day with no rain chance. GTV will bring you another weather update next week. Until then, I'm Megan. Back to our anchors. Thanks, Megan. Students in television production created a short, dramatic film. Obsession is a movie about a stalker.
Today, family and friends will gather to remember Tyler Wilkes, golf captain at Gaither High School. This morning, students will gather around a memorial to remember the senior. The murder investigation continues as authorities are still searching for a suspect. If you have any information, call 911. Now back to the news with Chad. Boyfriend's gone? What happened? He was killed. He was killed? What? Do we know what happened? No one no one knows who did it or anything or why would it matter? No no reason. I have to go talk to the cops. Wait. 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 What is your emergency? I got away. Need the killer. Okay, ma'am. Please stay on the line. Ma'am, I'm going to need your name, phone number, and your current location. My name is Bella Hurley. I'm at school right now, I think. I think I got away. From who, ma'am? He killed my boyfriend. He said so. Please stay on the line. I hear him. Ma'am, what's his name? He said I'm going to try to run. We're going to need a description. So what does he look like? Who is he? She's running from the killer. Ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, are you there? She hung up. We need to get officers over there immediately. Dispatch now. That wraps up all the news for today. I'm Daisy. And I'm Nevi. GTV will wrangle in some more news next week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at GatherGTV. Have a great day, Cowboys.